Welcome to Sometime 2. Today we're working with page 15 and the lesson is called Numbers 12. We're going to talk about multiplying by 15. But before we practice multiplying by 15, let's practice dividing by 2. Hmm, strange, eh? If we divide by 2, the answer is half the first number. For example, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, because 2 is half of 4. Divide these numbers by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2, 2, because 2 is half of 4. 6 divided by 2, 3, because 3 is half of 6. 8 divided by 2, 4. 10 divided by 2, 5. Alright, now divide these numbers by 2. 20. What's half of 20? 10. 40. What's half of 40? 20. 60. What's half of 60? 30. 80. What's half of 80? 40. And 100. What's half of 100? What's 100 divided by 2? That's 50. Well, so far we've worked with even numbers. Now let's do the same thing with odd numbers. But before we start, remember that half of 10 is 5, because 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Let's divide these numbers by 2. 10 divided by 2, 5. 30 divided by 2, 15. 50 divided by 2, 25. 70 divided by 2, 35. 90 divided by 2, 45. But as usual, it's easier to divide the problem into smaller problems like this. Let's take 50 divided by 2. Well, 50 is the same as 40 plus 10. So if we first divide 40 by 2, we get 20, and then we divide 10 by 2, we get 5, and we add the 20 and 5 together, we get 25. So we see that 50 divided by 2 is 25. Now let's try multiplying by 15. 15 is the same as 10 and 5, and 5 is half of 10. So let's multiply 12 by 15. First, multiply 12 by 10. That gives us 120. Now we said 5 is half of 10, so half of 120, that's 120 divided by 2, is 60. If we add 120 and 60, we get 180. So 12 times 15 is 180. One more. 11 times 15. Well, 11 times 10 is 110. 5 is half of 10, so half of 110 is 55. Add 110 and 55 and you get 165. So 11 times 15 is 165. That's all for today. See you again soon.